Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, requested video. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the gear drives motor gear bearing. So for people who don't know, there are different types of uh, drives for electrical skateboards. Very popular nowadays are gear drives. Different companies and manufacturers make those gear drives. Today we're going to talk about 3D services gear drives. You don't know who 3D services are. 3D services are European designer, manufacturer and retailer of uh, good quality, well high quality electrical skateboard parts. I will leave the link to the website in the description below. Take a look guys, their stuff is amazing. I mean, take a look at my board right here. I've got his heat sink, I've got his hangers, I've got his base plates and also got his gear drives. These gear drives right here are the Eco gear drives straight cut. Very, very lovely sounding gears. So. If you, for whatever reason, have an issue with the bearing that is located right behind the gear for the motor, this is the video for you. I'll show you how to replace it. Or maybe you are a lucky owner of the Finality gear drives. Same principle, guys, replacing the uh, bearings behind the uh, motor gear, and I will show you in a second. So guys, what tools will you need? Well, for starters, you will need the bearing press. Ooh, now you think, mega money. No, it's not. You can pick up a good quality bearing press for about 50 pounds UK or about 60 euros. Here is what you can get for 60, 60 euros. I will leave the link to this unit in the description below. Have a look, well worth it. These gear drives are not cheap, especially if you have like four by four, you got bearings to replace, so do them properly. Why should you use the bearing press? Because you need to push on the bearing consistently all the way around. If you're gonna try bashing it out, it might work, I don't know. You might use the vise to squeeze it out. It might work, I don't know. But if for some reason you will apply a one-sided pressure on the bearing, you'll jam it in. You will never get it out. So this will be the video to show you how to properly replace the bearing. The rest of it's up to you. Number two, you will need a socket set. Uh, well, something like back over right here. The reason for it is socket set has different, obviously, sockets and the diameter of the steel of the socket itself is different. And this is perfect because you can choose exactly the size required to apply the pressure onto the bearing part that you have to apply the pressure to. So watch carefully further in the video, I'm telling you exactly what size of the bearing to use if you are replacing the bearing in 3D Services gear drive. The same principle works for all other gear drives if there is bearing in there, but you just have to maybe take a look what bearing there is and what socket will be best. To the services, thank you for all the information provided for this video. Thumbs up. Now, let's take a look.
So here we go guys, as simple as that. Having proper tools and proper tutorial like this one makes the job easy. By the way, if you're not sure how to take the gear drives apart, I've got videos on how to take the gear drives apart, how to oil them up, how to assemble them. Have a look, I will leave the link in the description below. Also, 3D Services web shop, only link in the description below. Hope video helped you, ride safely, build safely, and I see you very soon. Bye.